Our first avoidable SAT mistake is not checking all four choices. I know that time is of the essence, we can't dwell on questions, we have to keep moving, all that is very important. But on the flip side, you don't want to commit to, a, to an answer too early. Even if you feel supremely confident in you know, the first answer you look at looks good, it's still not a bad idea, especially in reading and writing, and on certain math questions, especially those where you have to directly evaluate choices. It's not a bad idea just to double check the rest of the choices to make sure you haven't missed anything. So let's say I'm working on a question, you know, check out A, doesn't look so good. And then I look at B and it immediately jumps out to me as the answer. You might be tempted to just circle it or bubble it in and move on, but just pause for a minute, wait and say, okay, you know, B's looking good, but let me check C and D. You might, when you check C and D, see that, okay, C isn't good, D isn't good, and now you can be extra confident in your answer. But other times when you're checking C and D, you know, maybe you eliminate C, it doesn't look so good, but then you look at D and say, hmm, you know what? I'm pretty confident in B, but when I look at D, something strange because D seems like it works too. This is not a bad thing. This is actually a good thing. You know, you might continue to look at D and decide that, you know what, actually, you know, B is better. I'm going to stick with B. But you might take a look at D and say, well, you know, D is actually pretty good. Let me go back and reevaluate B. You might go back to B and realize, oh my gosh, I misread it. I missed something. I made a mistake. And actually, B is not the answer. It's D. And now you've just saved yourself a pretty avoidable mistake by going forward, checking all four choices, just seeing what the lay of the land is for that question, seeing what the options are. Even if you're pretty well happy with one of the earlier choices you've looked, gives you the opportunity to avoid quick mistakes, silly mistakes. By seeing that there's another possible answer, it forces you to reevaluate what you were assuming to be the case. It forces you to rethink your uh, reasoning for why you were so convinced by B or a previous choice. And that may make you actually realize, oh, I made a mistake on B, and now I've just saved myself a mistake and I'm going with D. Of course, there's a balance between the time you're spending evaluating all four choices and the time that you have to spend working on other questions. So, you know, we're not saying you got to really go through each choice thoroughly. Uh, you just want to at least give each choice a look to verify that you found the best of the four choices that you're going to move forward with as your answer.